Hello and welcome to the Align Showings Overview Webinar. My name is Lynn and I'll be an instructor today guiding you through Align Showings. We are excited to share Align Showings with you as our MLS is part of a group of MLSs across the country that join together to create MLS Aligned LLC. And Align Showings is one of the products that they found and decided to make available to you, our subscribers. So it is a scheduling management platform. And again, making it uh, easy and efficient for you to manage your property showings, both the listing side and working on the buyer side. So we will go ahead and get started with Align Showings. And to uh, teach Align Showings, we are in a training environment uh, because we do not want to interact directly with live listings and book fake showings on uh, real listings for brokers. So again, we're in a training site and we're going to navigate through Align Showings. So from RMLS web, you can actually get to Align Showings in a couple of different ways. One will be under Toolkit Align Showings. And that will take you to the main Align Showings website. And we will navigate through this uh, site. We'll go through all of the tabs today. Um, I'm going to go back to the RMLS desktop. You can also get to Align Showings if you have listings and you are in listing load. And you as the listing broker, you get to decide if you want to use Align Showings or if you want to use Showing Time. So from listing load, you will have both icons available. If you click on Align Showings, it will take you into the Align Showings website to that specific listing. And if you click Showing Time, it will take you to Showing Time to that specific listing. You want to make sure when you edit your listing that you have the correct one checked in the Showing Instructions section. Um, and you might want to just confirm that you have the other one turned off. And of course, our help desk can assist you with that if you have any questions or you want to confirm the one that you are using. We're happy to help. We can also get to aligned showings when we do a search. And we get to the search results page. You will see aligned showings, which is the icon on the far right it looks kind of like a shield or if you are looking at an agent full report you will also see a line showings up here in the showing section okay but for right now let's start in a line showings and the place that i would go first um, in a line showings to make sure you have everything set up the way you want it to work for you. On the left hand side, the blue navigation bar down at the bottom, I would click on settings. And the first section it takes you to here in settings is your profile. You can load your photo. It's pulling your contact information and the office you're in from our roster. So if you change to a different branch or different company, that will move as our front desk processes your paperwork. But as you scroll down, you'll see your email address and your mobile phone number, and you get to edit those here. So if there's a different email you want to use specifically for Align Showings, you could change that here. The default setting in Align Showings to uh, receive emails as the listing agent and as the showing agent. So email again is default. Text messages, you can check either or both. And then there's a save button at the bottom right. So if you want to get text. Receive daily summary emails is a yes or a no. Some people like it, some people don't. Basically, you get an email toward the end of the business day showing you your Align Showings activity for the next day. So you can, again, turn that on or off and then save bottom right. If we scroll back up in our settings column, we want to click on system. And so system settings here, these are going to be my basically my default settings for all of my new listings going forward. So 
default time and date restrictions. So let's say you know your clients well, they don't really like morning, they do not want showings before 10 a.m. And you know that's going to be true for the majority of your listings. So I'm going to go ahead and remove what I have there so I can set it up again uh, with you step by step. So add time date restriction. So again, this is going to apply to all of my new listings going forward. Specific dates or recurring. So for my clients, this will be recurring. And every day of the week, none of my clients want showings before 10 a.m. And you will be able to edit this for specific listings if somebody um, wants something different. Of course, you'll be able to make changes for specific listings later. Is this restriction all day, yes or no? When I say no, I get to put in a range, a time range. Okay, so I do not want showings between midnight and 10 a.m. And if you also wanted to, let's say, block out 7 p.m. to midnight at the end of the day, you could add that here as well. But for now, I know this is true, no showings before 10 a.m. for all of my clients. So save time date restriction at the bottom. And it is now saved. So again, I've blocked out midnight to 10 a.m. every day of the week. Okay. And again, I could add more if I wanted to, or there is the back button. Okay, team settings. So team settings, people involved in the listings. So people in your company who uh, might be helping you with some of your listings. Again, this is creating, you know, just a team, uh, kind of a global team for you. So when you click on add team member and you start to type part of somebody's name who is in your company, it will give you a drop down list to choose from. And you can add that person. So you get to say, do you want them to see all showing notifications, approvals and cancellations only, or no showing notifications? If you have them for either one, um, either the all showing notifications or approvals and cancellations only, include calorie calendar event yes or no some people don't want those to show on their calendar so you can change it to no or perhaps for right now i'm just adding this person to my team um, and i'm just going to leave them there so that i can edit them later for specific listings if i want them to get showing notifications special instructions for teams so you can type a message that you want your team to um, see when they're in a line showings looking at your specific listings. And then at the bottom right, there is a save button. Okay, and system preferences saved. All right, and then I'm back. Okay, so team settings. Edit default listing setup. So this will be, again, your global settings, your preferences for all of your new listings going forward. So allow overlapping appointments. So this is something that has uh, been added based on your feedback. Some people said, I'm okay with overlapping appointments for my listings. You can pick, okay. But the default is no, because most people probably really don't want overlapping appointments, but you do have that choice. And then maximum appointment length you can choose between 10 minutes and the longest 180 minutes. If you leave it on none, when the broker who's uh, booking the showing appointment, they'll be able to pick any uh, number in that list for your listing. But if you're like, oh my gosh, my listings are all lots, they don't need more than 10 minutes on my listings, you can edit it. How are requests handled? Instant approval. Instant approval will have them, you know, book an appointment, specific data and time, but you don't have to approve it. You'll be able to see it on the calendar. Um, you'll be able to see what's going on, but you don't have to approve. Okay, so if you want that to be your global setting, you can change it here, or the default is require approval. Instant message to agent. So once they book their appointment request, 
they will get this message back. So maybe you're going to have your seller approve your appointments, typically. That's going to be your um, kind of your global preference for your listings. So you might say um, homeowner or seller is approving appointments. Please allow up to one hour for a response, something like that. Um, lockbox access, the default is none. You can pick electronic and then pick uh, central lock if you would like. Showing arrangements, again, it's just here by default. Agent will accompany, seller will accompany. Um, not common, but they are there if you need them. Uh, request callback, request that all showing agents call the listing agent. You could always ask, doesn't always happen. Uh, additional instructions sent after approval. So once uh, the seller has approved or you've approved, whoever is approving the showing, um, they will get an additional message. So maybe please remove your shoes or wear shoe coverings. Please leave a business card on that kitchen counter, um, turn off lights, all of those sort of things. Um, and again, this is your global setting for all of your listings. And then advanced notice requirements. Again, it's a slider bar. So maybe for your clients, one hour advanced notice would be um, the minimum that they would like. Again, you can always change that for specific listings. Disable same day requests, that is also an option, and then save. Okay, and then opt out of aligned showings. So again, I'm in my global for preferences, my uh, for all of my listings. If I don't want to use aligned showings for any of my listings, I can change this to no and then save, and it's turning it off again for all of my listings. Okay, I'd want to double check my current listings that are in just to make sure that they were turned off as well, if that's the case. But you could turn off the global setting and then turn it on for a specific listing if you want to. And then if you make a change, you'll hit save. Okay, so all of those were with system. And then feedback surveys. So up here, you'll see manage surveys. So you have the option in Align Showings to create as many surveys as you need. You could do a different survey for every single listing that you have if you wanted to. And when you click on New Survey, you'll give the survey a name. And then you can type your own survey question. You know, what did, the, um, what did your client think about the property, the um, floor plan, the wonderful kitchen, you know, whatever question you want to ask, and then your response type responses, you get to choose multiple choice or short answer. And so you can create your own survey. And I did like a new construction survey, just what did they think of the quality of construction? Are they going to make an offer? They're offering a landscaping allowance, whatever you would like to include. If we click on back, the default survey settings, they do have a default survey um, set up and you can view default survey. Okay, so did they like the property? Was it uh, priced appropriately? Are they considering making an offer? Is there, um, are they considering another showing of the property? What was their favorite aspect? And then general comments, short answers, so they can type additional information for you. Okay, so allow feedback. Most people, yes, they want that. Feedback reminder, so the default is two. One reminder will go one hour after they've completed their showing or their appointment time ended, and then one day later, but you can add additional, which will go at each one day increments until they've responded. Feedback analysis is sort of like an AI opinion. It's either green or red, positive or negative. You can try that or turn it off if you don't like that. Um, again, default survey or even here, you could switch to custom survey, pick from the ones you've already created or do a new survey here. Okay, so again, lots of cool stuff. And then privacy and terms. If you want to read the license agreement again, which you agree to when you first get into Align Showings, you can get back and read that here. Very exciting. Um, and then I'm going to tap on the support icon just above settings. 
So a line showing, again, since RMLS is partially an owner uh, with the MLS aligned group, our support is the RMLS help desk. So this is our help desk phone number and help desk at rmls.com. Again, if you have feedback, suggestions, enhancement ideas for aligned showings, please send them to help desk at rmls.com. Again, they will get routed to our product manager who interacts directly with aligned showings and they love our feedback. They've made a lot of enhancements and changes um, based on our feedback from RMLS in particular. Um, they say we're kind of Johnny on the spot. So feel free, send those in. Okay, so let's go back up uh, to the top and click on the calendar. So when we, again, first come in from RMLS web under toolkit aligned showings, it will always start at the calendar and it will always have it on the month view. This is the default. I can see I'm very busy and you can also view the week. What's going on? The day What's going on for my day or a custom date range that you'd like to see. Okay, and we'll go back to month. And again, you can go back and see what have I been doing in previous months. Okay, and then on the top left, we see filters, search by address. If you start to type a house number or a street name, any part of an address in this search, if I start to type evergreen as an example, it will reduce the list of properties that have those numbers or letters in the address field. Okay, search by agent. If you start to type an agent name, it could be first name, last name, first and last name, any combination of the letters that you type, it will again reduce the listings based on what you've typed here. Okay, um, and then type the default is all. So when the brokers are booking their showing appointments, are they indicating it's for a showing? Is it a return showing? Uh, is it an appraisal, an inspection, or a walkthrough? So again, default is all, but you can specify. Um, buyer name. So if you've attached a buyer to any of your properties where you've um, booked showing requests, you can start to type their name. And if you have them in as a buyer, you'll be able to click their name. And then again, you'll see any listings or tours um, that we have connected Harry homeowner to. Okay, and I'll show you where you can do that in a little bit. And then your role. So on this calendar, it's showing us everything, both if it's my listing or if it's my showing that I've booked on somebody else's property. But if I just wanna to switch to my listings, and again, down here I see status. So requested yellow, approved green, canceled kind of purple, declined red, expired gray. Um, and oh my gosh, I'm on my listings and I see something for today, later, that is still uh, requested. How did I miss that? I have it set up to email me. I have it set up to text me, but I've been really busy. Um, I come in here just to take a look and double check or again, go into the app and look and see, oh my gosh, something's yellow on my listings. I better take a look at that. When I click, I can see approve, I can see decline, and if you click on the little ellipsis icon, you actually also have an option to reschedule. Okay, so if I approve this, it's going to give me the option to say what kind of lockbox if I want. If you want to check any of these boxes, you can. You don't have to. Um, if you want to type additional instructions, again, this property has a really big dog in the backyard. Um, I probably wouldn't go out there, whatever. Um, and then approve and send instructions. Okay. 
right? And now that is approved, right? And I also see one uh, for Sunday that I missed, okay? And I'm just going to approve that one, short and sweet, okay? So again, I can kind of see what's going on on my calendar. And let's just double check, make sure everything else is um, green regarding my listings, or I see one here that I declined. And if you do decline an appointment, um, it does give you a list of check boxes to choose from. Here, I'll see if I can switch one of these to decline. It will give you the option. You don't have to choose any of those. If you want to type, um, they just discovered they're really sick and they have a fever, could you please reschedule? Um, you can do that. Or again, I just approved this one o'clock appointment. I can still go and reschedule. If I need something came up, I need to please reschedule with you. Okay. Um, and then we can also look at my showings. So I can see what I have um, been doing, things that I have coming up. If you click on more details, you'll be able to see um, who's listing, who has the listing, and any interaction back and forth between you and the other broker within um, Align Showings. Okay. So again, pretty user friendly um, as far as the calendar. And as I said, the app uses the same colors. Um, so keeping it consistent. Okay, so let's talk about if you have listings. So my listings. And as I said, if you're in RMLS web in listing load and you click on the Align Showings icon, it will take you specifically to that listing. And let me go to this one. And it will actually bring you into listing um, setup for that specific property. Okay, so now when you're in my listings, at the very top here, it says allow property to be shown. This is where if this particular homeowner, they do not want anybody to book their showing electronically. They want them to talk to you first or text you first. You can change this to no for this specific property. Allow overlapping appointments. Again, the default is no. Again, for this specific property, maybe you want to allow that. But again, default is no, because that is not common. And for this specific property, maximum appointment length. So maybe for this house, you know 60 minutes is going to be plenty, because um, you want to be able to have as many showings booked as possible. And if people are booking those really long appointments, and then they're only staying in for 45 minutes, um, you know, you're not getting as many people through the property as maybe you'd like. And then here, requests. Uh, how are they handled for this specific property? So instant approval or require approval. So just as with the global setting, you do have the option to add that um, instant message to agent specifically about this property. And lockbox, I want to indicate central lock. And again, your same checkbox options you had on the global settings, additional instructions after approval. And for this specific property, maybe this person would like two and a half hours notice they have little kids. They need a little extra warning to get out. And then in the bottom right, you want to make sure you hit done. Sometimes it says done, sometimes it says save. It's always in a blue box, but to save any changes that you've made. Okay, when I clicked done. It actually took me to step two, which is office involvement. Okay. And remember, in our global settings, I added another person. I added Aaron, but that's only applying to my new listings going forward. So if I wanted that person to be part of this team as well, I need to add them here. And then again, choose 
um, if they get showing notifications or not, or if I just want, want them to be attached to this uh, listing to see, be able to see activity. And then team instructions, and then again, done, lower right. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this um, seller tenant so I can add another one. So again, maybe you want your seller or your tenant to be the person who approves or declines appointments. So if that is the case, you're going to add seller tenant. And as you start to type their name, if it recognizes them, if you've already put them in the system, you'll see their names appear. Or it will give you the option way down at the bottom to invite a new client. And it will ask you for their cell phone number and their email address. I'll go ahead and just put in Betty Boop here. So again, just start typing three letters. And then if you need to put them in, invite new user. And then you'll fill in their basic contact information. So for Betty Boop, do I want her to uh, approve showings and send, be able to send comments? Or just approve showings but no comments? Maybe, maybe Betty's uh, kind of um, says things may be inappropriate. So maybe I just let her approve without comments. Um, and for Betty Boop, does she want to get emails or texts or both? Do you want Betty Boop to see feedback that comes back about this property? It's a yes or a no. And if you say yes, you can set it up for all feedback that comes back or only approve feedback that you've looked at and then you've let Betty see. You get to choose. Okay. And if you wanted to add another person, maybe there are uh, two people and the second person you want them to see um, Again, you want them to see the notifications, but you don't want them to be able to approve or decline. You can add additional people as needed and then done. Okay, so you need to have that conversation with the seller. If they're in the process, in the mix and they get to approve or decline, uh, whoever approves or declines first wins. So you wanna make sure they know if that's their role, that that's what they do. And there isn't an official app for them to approve or decline when they get the message they'll get a little um, button to tap on to approve or decline and it will look something like this when they have approved and they'll be able to see any appointments they've approved or are still pending or they've declined or canceled okay so add time date restrictions for this specific property Okay, so remember we did global settings earlier. We, we blocked out before 10 a.m., but I notice it's not here because this listing already existed in a line showing. So again, it didn't go back to this one. So I could go through and set up block out um, midnight to 10 a.m. again, just like we did earlier. Or maybe for this specific listing, let's say um, this Saturday, they are um, having a contractor come in and do work. So we could just block out an entire day. Or uh, maybe on um, Sunday, you're going to have an open house. So this will be um, just on, actually, let's do, sorry, specific day. Let's do Sunday, sorry. And then is it all day? No. And you're doing your open house from one to four. So maybe you want to block out from 12.30 to 4.30 on a specific date to do your open house and save. Okay, so you'll be able to see any specific dates or um, ranges that you've blocked out um, here. And if you want to remove, you can, but it's, sometimes it's nice to be able to look back and see what you blocked out and help you remember, oh yeah, I did an open house on the 15th. Okay, and then again, done. And then our feedback survey. So again, allow feedback for this specific property. Reminders. So for this one, maybe I want more reminders than my global setting. Maybe this one I want to have all six. Again, feedback analysis, that AI option, favorable or not favorable, green or red. Turn it on or off. And again, your custom survey or the default survey. 
So I'm going to do this will be my new construction survey and then done. Okay. So again, I'm in my listings. And so this one is one we just worked on. So again, the pencil is to edit the broadcast icon. So it looks like a little radio tower. So broadcast message to all showing side appointment agents. So generate a message to all approved showing agents from the last 14 days. So one of the requests that came in that um, has been changed, and I believe it's live also on the live site, not just in training, um, but omit the following agents from this broadcast. So we had a few people um, contact us and say there are times where maybe an offer was made and it was rejected and maybe it didn't go well. So maybe there's a broker that you don't want to include in this message where you're saying we've just done a price adjustment or whatever you're sending um, to the brokers who have shown the property. Okay, and then view feedback, if there has been feedback. Okay, and this one just has two. And so again, you can take a look at that. And then download activity report. And you can include showing agent name and brokerage, name brokerage with phone number or exclude showing agent details, depending on, you know, if you're doing this for you or you're doing this to share with your um, seller. And you'll be able to see Again, who has shown the property. Okay, approve showings for that MLS number. And again, if there is any um, feedback, it will be on there as well, or it'll say no feedback given. So there's a lot going on in the My Listings tab. Okay, and if you are designated as the co-listing agent in RMLS Web, you will be able to edit in here as well. Okay. So let's talk about booking showings now on other brokers' listings. So you can see in here, add a showing. So you could actually do it in aligned showings if you wanted to. However, you have to type an address or an MLS number or find the property on the map. So I would say it's probably easier if you're just in our MLS web. And as I said, you have that aligned showings icon on the agent full. It is also on that search results page, which I'm going back to results. So if you just want to book one showing on one specific property, you're going to click just on the align showings icon. And it's going to let you select the date and the time. And one thing I will point out to you, so this listing that I'm booking a showing on is actually my listing, or it's the, the person I'm impersonating. It's actually their listing. So if somebody says, hey, I'm driving, I really want to show your listing this afternoon, but I'm driving, I can't easily do it. Could you look and see, could you book an appointment for me um, and see what time I could get in there this afternoon with my client? So you could actually start to type the broker name that you're talking to on the phone. And you can then highlight. So this, again, is only going to show if it's your listing. And then again, I'm booking it for today because they're asking for today. And it's a showing, not a return showing. And then next. Okay, so here at a glance, I can see. So these showings that are light gray in the background, those are appointments I have. If there were appointments already scheduled on this property, they would be grayed out. There'd be a dark gray bar on the right-hand side. And as I move this um, showing 
time up and down. If I ran up against one of those dark gray bars, this would change to red and tell me it's not available. So for the person who's asking for the showing, I can say, would two o'clock work for you? That would be perfect. And 30 minutes is the default. Do you want a little more? Yes, I'd like 45 minutes. You can make that adjustment. And then you do have the pencil, by the way, up here. So if you're challenged by clicking and dragging, some people don't like that because it, it's hard to get it right at two o'clock. They tell us, so they added a pencil so you can edit it up here. And then next, and if you want to type any message, and then set. And again, just by coincidence, this happens to be my listing. So I do get the option just to go ahead and approve for that person. And again, I can indicate you know, central lock if I want to type the note, approve. So that person I'm talking to on the phone, hey, I just booked an appointment for you at two o'clock. You are good to go. Okay, and that was right from search results. Okay, obviously, if I'm booking an appointment on somebody else's listing and they require approval, I need to wait for them to actually approve it. Okay. So another option we have in Align Showings, again, booking just one property is really easy. They have something called Routes, which is also known as a tour. So you can book appointments to show multiple properties for a client on a particular day in their system. So I can see I have an existing one um, that's coming up and I can look at that and those appointments have been approved. Oh, the one I actually went in and declined earlier. So I can see those. I can also see past routes that I've done and it's good to attach a buyer name to those uh, routes or name them according so, accordingly so it's easy to see specifically who you were touring with. So I can also go back and I can see which properties did I show Bethany Buyer on that day and you can actually click back and look at the property details on previous routes. So they're grayed out though just to make it really obvious they've already happened. Okay so we'll go back to our search results. And let's just say um, we want to do a tour of these three properties. And up at the top right, you're going to see a line showings route. And it's going to take us to create route. We're going to give it a name. So again, Harry homeowner, great client. I'm going to pick the um, date for the tour and the start time in a.m. p.m. And here's where you're going to add a buyer. So again, if I start to type the first four letters or first three letters, sorry, uh, I can select and I could add multiple buyers also. Okay, and this one is being cranky. So we're just going to take that one off for now. Um, if you're running into like some times that are uh, blocked out, maybe they don't allow same day showings or something like that, you may see something in red. And I would go and figure that one out. But for time, we'll just use these two just to kind of show you the process. So it has the listings in the order that they were checked. Um, and it does allow travel time, and that's just assuming regular traffic. It doesn't assume, doesn't know if there's a snowstorm, an ice storm, that sort of thing. Um, but you can choose fastest routes. And if you would prefer, we could start on the other side of the river. Okay, and it will do the opposite. You can also drag and drop and slide these wherever you want. You don't have to use fastest route. So create and schedule route. And again, with two, that's pretty straightforward. Um, not yet requested. 
And again, I can still reorder if I want to click and drag and reorder. Um, I can. I can add a stop. So let's say, um, so I could add a new appointment that is another MLS number or add a non-RMLS stop or non-MLS stop. So let's see. Um, let's see. So there is a coffee shop. 1700 Main Street in Vancouver. And I'm going to start there at noon. And again, maybe we're going to allow 30 minutes or so before we get ready to go uh, view property. So we're going to add that stop into the mix. And it's going to uh, give us directions from there up to my first showing. And when we request appointments, top right. Again, they've been requested. They are yellow. So again, I just need to wait for those to get approved. So one of the things we've been asked to improve and they're working on it is this share option. So keep in mind in the app, when you have a route, it does have a navigate option in the app. In here in the website, it has share via PDF. Um, so it's going to show you um, basically the general map, but people have asked if there's a way maybe to get this a little more branded for you or for your brokerage. So some of those things are looking into making that a little bit um, better or again, share via PDF. Okay. So if I go back to my routes now, I see I have two different ones coming. Okay, so routes you can do, I believe it's a maximum of 10 properties, but if you've ever shown even five properties or six in a day, that's a lot to look at. Um, 10 would be a lot to process. So um, anyway, so routes or tours, are available for you. And again, if you need help, reach out to the help desk if you're getting stuck. But I think it's so easy just to do it from RMLS web, um, a line showings route, once you know that button is there. Okay. Originally, when you created a new route, just to let you know the enhancement requests that went through, you originally had to put the MLS number or address and add them one at a time. So we've come a long way. All right, so let's jump down to alerts, little bell icon. There's a little six in there. So I have some alerts to look at. So these alerts are chronological. So whatever um, has happened most recently is going to be at the top. And as you start to scroll down, it will just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling every alert that you've ever had. Okay, so here I see showing uh, or feedback requested. Okay, so again, it's my listing. So it means feedback's been requested for my listing. So again, this is the person I'm impersonating. However, one of the things they added over here on the right hand side, record feedback. So again, maybe the person says, I want to give you feedback. But I, again, I'm driving, I can't do it right now. Um, I'm about to go on vacation. So I wanna give you my feedback. Can I just do it with you over the phone? You can. And so it'll pull up whatever, excuse me, feedback survey that you had attached to the listing. Um, type your little whatever other feedback they have for you um, and then submit so you can do that. And you'll notice when you click on alerts, Whatever it's telling you here, it's going to take you down into messages. Okay, and I can see like showing and request approved. Um, again, feedback requested. Um, things that I haven't looked at will still have a little red dot. Once I've clicked on them, they become uh, light gray. Okay, so again, alerts just takes you to messages. So one thing in messages I'll point out um, that I think is helpful. So in messages, you'll notice there is a little white box at the top to search. 
So if you start to type, again, part of the address, again, house number, street name, whatever, um, it will simplify, it'll look for those letters um, anywhere. So any interaction, whether it was your listing or it's a listing that you where you showed the property. Um, so you'll be able to go through and see kind of your interaction specifically about that property. Again, back and forth through a line showing either side. Okay, and you can also type a message that will again go to whoever has you've been interacting with back and forth with this specific property. Okay, so let's jump down to contacts. So in contacts, you're going to see all agents. So that's everybody, all the subscribers in RMLS at this moment. Uh, some people are dual licensed. So some people are in on the Oregon side and Washington side. Um, you can message to a specific person through line showings, um, but probably some of the things you might use um, would be, so my company, it's going to show you people that are in your company specifically. And again, you can message back and forth through line showings. My team. So these are people that you have added to your team, either in your global settings or specifically to any of your individual listings. Okay, and then my sellers. So anybody you've put in as a seller. And you will notice there is an edit option. So again, their first name, last name, phone number, email. So if there's any correction you need to make, you can. If you want to add any extra notes, you do have the option to mark somebody as archived. So if this list gets really long and you just want to archive some to hide them, they'll still be available in the background. You can pull them back out to active if you want to, because um, currently they do not have a way to delete. So at least if you archive them, you can move off of this active screen so you don't have as many to look at. You have my buyers, so anybody you've put in as a buyer, and again, any notes that you put in regarding that buyer. And then my accounts. Okay, so if you happen to be a dual licensed broker, if you're in Oregon and Washington, and you go to my accounts, you're going to see your name twice. And so whichever account you're logged in with, whichever side of the river will show, the other side will have a little eyeball icon to work as, it'll ask if you wanna work as the other side of the river. You can change back and forth if you're dual licensed, okay? And if anybody happens to be an office manager, OM access, input person, IN access in our system, or head broker, HB in our system, on the My Company tab, you will also have an eyeball for anybody in your company where you can click on the eyeball, work as that person, work on their listings, edit their listings, or see their calendar, um, help that person out. And then when you're done, it'll have a stop work as option on the left-hand side. Okay, so that work as is really handy. Uh, again, office manager, input person, head broker. Okay, all right. So then we're going to go to the last tab that we have not visited, and that is the reports tab. So reports, it's going to show number of approved showings, basically going back 90 days. Okay, and then showings by listing. So approved showings. Um, so total 90 days and 30 days, five days, if there's been feedback. Okay, and again, if we go to view messages, it takes us back into the messages 
section to that specific property. And if you click on view listing, it'll actually take you to the listing back in listing or in RMLS web. Sorry. Um, and one thing, again, they have added and enhanced in here when you're on the reports tab up at the top left is price point analysis. And again, as they're getting more feedback, they have been um, adding to this. So you can put in a date range, again, bedrooms, bathrooms, zip code, and then you can do a minimum and a maximum price. And again, depending on what you've asked for, I'm leaving it pretty wide open just to show you kind of uh, the analysis details. Again, it's a work in progress, so they're looking for feedback and uh, suggestions and ways to make this better, but it does give you an idea of what's happening in a particular area. Right. So again, we've clicked on every tab. I go back up to the calendar where we started. Um, and then again, back into our MLS web for a moment. Up at the top right in our MLS web, um, remember we also have our live chat option on the far right of our navigation bar. And that's also available um, Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to noon and 1 to 5. And then as we talked about the help desk, we saw where their phone number was in um, Align Showings. Again, down under Support. And you'll also find their contact information if you click in RMLS Web on Contact Us and scroll down a little bit, you'll find them as well. So if, again, you need help, you need support, um, we are here to help you with Align Showings. And again, suggestions, ideas, email those in, helpdesk at rmls.com or under uh, help in our website. You'll also see questions, comments, feedback, and other place, again, sending us feedback on anything to do with RMLS web, not just Align Showings. Um, again, a lot of changes that happen to our website. Uh, they start with you guys letting us know what you need. And the same is true with Align Showings. Again, a lot of enhancements have happened um, since it rolled out. So we do appreciate your feedback. With that, I will go ahead and wrap this class up for the day. Um, I appreciate your taking the time to watch this recorded session. Um, again, we really appreciate your support um, and, again, letting us know what you'd like to see in Align Showings as we move forward. Okay, so we will go ahead and call it a wrap. Have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye.